We will jump into this upper bracket finally. He's ready, I would imagine. He does. And Pale will go, and they will set up for Old Chicken to come out with a Saloon Crush. They'll find it, and with a couple more right clicks, Old Chicken will get first blood down to the safe lane. No deny, but they want Siler instead. But the EMP, no follow up tornado. Oh, they Jump going? in, Saloon Crush. They found the Earth Shaker. Timber Chain up, vacuum Great wall. Vacuum. Onto two. Ice Ice is low, upheaval. No chaotic offering just yet. They might drop it soon. Siler uses some Requiem, but it's a one for one exchange. They've already lost Old Chicken. He's out of the fight. There's the chaotic offering, but it's just to try to cover their retreat. Garner coming in. They oh. immediately infested the siege creep. Garner was spotted, and now he's got a get out, but the open wounds, the chakra will keep him in place, and Blake finds himself a double kill. That was huge. Piper Wings is stun. Not in time. That cask is going to fly all the way. <laughs> it's a lot. There it is. It. Boom. Gets stunned. <laughs> So it looks like they're saying, okay, we can bring this to a later point in the game. We can get more items for our darks here at the very least. But they are going to run right into three heroes. The Impale only catches one. They will get the Invoker, but this Lurie Crush follow-up. They the still cast. have that rage there. Here comes the Chakra. The Golems are down. Okay, they get this Invoker. He's low. The EMP they drop to. Tornado stops any more further aggression. And Siler has to back away from the Death Ward. Two dead on the side of E-Home. And... They are running for the hills. Bottom's going to try to TP out. Looks like he will make it away. Still something going for Ehome. Uh, a much needed kill. The Invoker down for 35 seconds. He's not farming. And they're going to turn this instead of the tier 2 tower mid to Roshan. But the Lifestealer inside of the Ancient Black Dragon trying to stop this as much as possible. They have the amp damage up. So it's going to help out a lot in terms of taking this quickly. But the heroes are starting to position themselves from Wink to maybe fight this here. More <laughs> Fireballs drop down. Look at the damage it's doing. Meanwhile, Innocence has positioned himself beautifully for a cast. Maybe for oh, a death ward. Will he drop it? Yes, he will. Going for all chicken. The mech will go. They'll keep the slaughter alive for now, but they back everybody off. Here comes the timber stall. Blink is a little bit alone. Old chicken does dodge that timber chain narrowly. And now Blink with the amplified damage taking a lot. The Southern Crush is available. They stun him coming up with a spike carapace. They will bring the timber down. Do they fight any further? Silar TPing out. Looks like he will make it away. The Fisher, no. Not in time. Now the infest out. Silar will fall. He just couldn't quite. TP. You can see Wings is backing up very quickly. They also smoke. I don't know if that was spotted or not. I don't think it was. I don't think so. They're going to break it momentarily. Old Chicken EMP, but the cold snap beautifully top for Papillon. They get the Fisher off. Old Chicken is done, and this fight is over before it began for Ehome. Time to leave. TP comes out. Here comes the death. What a chance on him. That newly minted blink dagger for Earthshaker finds them another. Can they get a third? Old Eleven would be a huge pickup. He does have Surgeon 3. Good vacuum back. They need some sort of disable, and I'm sure they'll have it as the cast comes through. They find a double kill for Shadow. There's maybe one, there's maybe been one or two picks that Ehome have gotten, like on that Invoker, but that's about it. Echo oh, that Slam. Goes. They'll find Garter. They will blow him away. Fisher comes out. The Timber Chain. Secure the kill. So the Ring Crush, they will find the Earthshaker, but I'm not sure if this is the best fight. Old Chicken takes a ton of damage from Blake, and they're going to find more. The Yule Scepter is there. The Chakram is up. The Timber Chain. The cast bounce through as well. Siler has to pop the BKB. In fact, they will get himself out for Blink and Looks like try to run after taking that tier 3 tower. Here's the vacuum. Back onto two. Wall's not there. Faith beyond. There's the ghost walk. Timber chain. Siler already getting low. Through crush out of two, but they have no more damage followed. And here's the chaotic offering. Maybe this could do some work. Old Love is going to fall first. And it sits. Will not go down to Old Chicken. Not yet anyway. Faith Beyond's going to try to help him out, but not there in time. On the other side of the fight, Lanham getting chased down. Might be able to bring him down. They have so much damage between the light steel and the timber saw. EMP. Cold snap is there, but timber chain. That's what does the real damage. Double kill for Blink. Timber saw, and that is it. GG. E home. Take the support pipe. The pug now, obviously, we see it a lot in push strats. You have a Luna with you as well. Who would have thought Siler getting gone on down bottom? This is what they were talking about during the draft. The aggressive dueling between both the Sekiro and Faith Beyond. Now Lanham doing some serious work against Ice Ice. The Rot coming through. They will get the first blood. Siler comes back in. Has more than enough damage. And now Faith Beyond getting brought down. It's not better right now, but. In a couple more levels, I think Pugna can get an edge. Oh, dual breath. Siler might be in trouble. Did he actually get hit by it? Looks like he did. Still taking a lot of damage. Faith Beyond trying to juke his way through and get this kill. The Shadow Ward healing him up. And look at the Rot. Go to work. The loose beam. The hook. And next. Fairy Fire's there, but it's not enough. And Old Bottom getting turned on. But Faith Beyond is out of mana. And all of a sudden, Siler's at full HP after that Shadow Ward. Fatal Bonds will go. This should be a kill. Can the Rot get there? They have they another the Lucid creeps. Beam. Looks like they might not find him. The Creep's taking a lot of damage, of course. He actually uses the tree to Bob Rossum. Oh, again. Oh, what impressive play. And the heal wasted as well. Jakiro able to get the kill. What a sick play from the Night Stalkers. Yes, there's been some kills going Ehome's way, but now Lanham walking back in. Silence comes out again from Faith Beyond, but slowed up by the Rot. Shadow Word is there. There's the Lucid Beam. Ice Path doesn't connect, but there's the dual breath. Faith Beyond still in trouble. He hooks, but it's the wrong target. Innocent still might fall. Lanham is low. One more auto attack. They will bring each other down. Faith Beyond is barely alive. There's the Astral. They rotate in blank. Ice Path not connecting again. Ice Ice. 
just barely missing on these. Giving them a lot of Luna kills, but not quite all the levels in gold they want. They will connect with this Ice Path. There's the Dual Breath and the Void, very slow. Siler does have 10 wand charges, will use him. He's got the Range Drop as well. Shadow Ward healing him back up. Is there enough damage? Blink now having to turn and will survive. More TP's coming in. Here comes the Pogna. Dev Decrep and of course the Life Drain coming out. Faith Beyond still rather tanky. Here comes the TP. They have the Lasso coming out. They have the stun. Faith Beyond will end up falling. He does get the sounds up, but it's not enough. It's a Bat Rider. I think they want to fight this one. They do. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they got Ice though. The Lasso, but the Astral comes out. He'll pull him back nonetheless. And he will actually get him in a good position. Dismember coming out. Good force away coming out. There's the hook onto Faith Beyond. Another Astral. The Chaotic offering Eom starting to look for this good fight. And they might have the beginnings of it. Ice Ice will drop down that Macro Pyre. But it's already too dead for Wings. Blink's in some trouble. He's got Force in one second. Hook. It's there. A lot of gets it. Force back towards this creep camp. Silar will right. find it. The Astral is there. All he has to do is kill everyone. Well, that's not going to happen, Purge, unfortunately. Uh, that's close. Lana might have been spotted by Innocence. We'll drop the war down so they have some vision for E-Home on the high ground. And here comes Shadow. The Sentry Ward is there. Shadow knows. He knows it's there. Yeah, he has, of course, his... Oh, he gets oh, hooked he gets... anyway. The Shadow Dance Pass is not enough. He gets it off in time to go, and they can't bring him down, but the Lasso's there. Already, e -Home starting to do pretty well in this fight. Faith Beyond will fall first. The Flame Break pushed back. Not there for Innocence, but it looks like he might be too slow to decrep. And he will be Ooh. another martyr for the cause. They'll try to TP home. Blink will get out. Shadow still getting chased down by Old Eleven. There's the Pounce. Shadow Dance Pass it finally comes out as he pops. They know Shadow's around. They can Ice Path. That's their ranged initiation option. It's out of the Slark Pounce. He's going very far Oh, forward. the big hook. He gets the hook. There's a lot no of dark pack. It. Can they get the Shadow Dance off? He can. The Dark Pact is there in time. Now the Pounce is up in Lana. Might be the one to fall. Macro Pyre's there as well. BKB for both the cores. There's the gold coming what up. A... Shadow will fall. Dead for 65. No buyback. And Seller's still running. That Luna is big. But we're still feeling very confident. Walking out Shadow aggressively. Shadow might get spotted here. Faith Beyond should have some vision. Shadow is going in. Looking for Silo. Mantis style. There's the BKB. But the Hex comes out. Can they get it done? They just don't have the damage. They've already lasted up one. Garter still taking a lot of damage. He actually is going to get dropped. It's finally the first Sanities of the game, and they will get a kill. Shadow now. Shadow Dance is going to come out. Silas BKB is done. Can they get this kill? They're going into Blink. He's already low. The hook hits, but it's on to Shadow instead of Blink. Now still doing well, but Shadow will fall. Can they bring down Silar? The cask is coming through. Old Chicken. He's got that life drain. He's looking for another one. The cask still bouncing up. Decrep is there. They heal Silar back. Pretty much to full at this point with Old Chicken being the medic. Hook uh, might have been one of Vonum's. Need a void. Faith Beyond's on the hunt. He has the vision with Vagon Scepter. Silar's here as well. They have the Hex back up. They're going to go Silar, they find it. Can they bring him down? He He's out. got the Butterfly. He gets Ice Path. The Decrep is there. They don't have the Sandies. Now the BKB comes out. The Astral's there. Eclipse is back up. Blake will take the majority of the damage, and he will go down. Flame Break. And it looks like it's going to be Jakiro as well. Yules is himself for half a second with the Firefly as well as Siler nearby. Oh, it's a triple kill. They just didn't have the damage of the Butterfly they Cup. In. It. And GG. Wings will go down. E-Home even up the series at one apiece. But the, I don't Alchemist? think they have a space oh, for that. Oh, okay. Huskar. Yeah, I, I feel like the Huskar was a reaction pick to the Morphling. They needed something that was going to be able to combat him, at least in the mid-game, a really oh, early oh, fight here. Oh, we got to start. Don't worry, we didn't see yeah. him, so. Just got to keep the waves killed, but Ice Ice, ice gets ice. caught. Yeah, the Ice Shards will block him in. He cannot move. Dual Breath, Plasma Field. Chain Frost is bouncing, but it's not enough. Meanwhile, Garter still oh, comes low. in. Look at this damage. I have the Storm, and here comes Faith Beyond the Waveform as well. More than enough damage. That is absolutely worth it, as the Huskar does fall. And it's only for Ice Ice, the Lich. Tier 1 E-Home is going to try to pressure. They've got... Oh, they actually TP the uh, Tide away. They definitely fight now. Yeah. They're going to go in. They have the Pincer coming in from the Sand King as well. This could be a great Burrow Strike if you find it. But Old Chicken is going to get caught. It's the epicenter first. Ice Path is at their time. It is not. Overwhelming Odds comes in. Garter is in trouble. Snowball will delay them for a moment. But it's going to get pulled back. Silar waiting to come in the backside. A double kill for Shadow. Tide has Ravage, by the way. He hasn't even skilled it yet. Prioritizing for more armor. But Burrow Strike landing. Shakira away for him. It's that quick. The Chain Frost now will bounce to the creeps. And it bounces back. The Ravage comes in, but it bounces oh, again no. the third time. Old Chicken and oh, more bounces. The snowball. Old Chicken cannot man up. It's three dead, and it might as well be four. Wave form comes in. E home. Lose everything. And a double damage on Morphling. They can actually maybe fight this. He's trying to get him to duel it. Yeah, there it is. The duel on the replicate. Wave form, and he wants to fight too. Even without it, they'll find a kill bottom. Here comes the snowball. He's Ice Path. He does have that strength morph. It might not be enough. He's taking a lot of damage. Huskar really wants Wave his kill. Form. The toggle comes out. Wave form. It's there, but there comes the life break, and Old Chicken gets a much needed kill. Ooh, here, Vision to they, kill beyond, they have the plasma field that should do the job, and it will. They actually get a double from Blink after rotating down bottom, getting the tide on. So here's the Macro Pyre Ice Path, not connecting Blink. Still from the low ground, Blink up from Faith Beyond. He really wants something. 
On him, Burrow struck, but there's no follow up. Not yet, anyways. Old chicken, time. life break back in. That's pretty dangerous. Here's the chain frost. Can he toggle in time? Absolutely not. Another chain frost bounce. A double kill on Silar. Might get caught. There's the track up. He's got some good move speed. No mana for the Shuriken. The Janata's there. Right clicking. It might be enough. He's sitting at 20 HP. Blink is dying for the tier fours. He won't get it. Oh my god, he doesn't get the kill. He, he was freak so out. low, and Blink is now getting snowballed on. He's at half health. The Warriors punch wings have gone too far. Blink, the urn's up on him. They just need one more auto attack or damage, and he will tick down. On him, putting the liquid fire out. The old chicken's there with the force of spears. They might go now. Blink Furrow, they'll find the damage. Old chicken, press the attack in. The armlet coming out, macro pyre. The snowball and they might just get this tower back deny it can they get it yes blink will waveform in here comes shadow looking for more he's a little bit alone to get the walrus punch off blink burrow onto two chain frost again bouncing one hit garter and bring him down he's solo in fact will fall to the chain frost yet again not only that but everybody's solo adopted. they've already gotten silar old on him as well as old chicken waveform coming in from shadow the replicants there and now the adaptive they get a double kill for it it's four dead Finally, Wings turn it back around with another huge engagement. Before Wings gets there, this could completely change the game. They should maybe know this is happening. I think they oh, might they, have spotted a couple. They're going to sure. send the illusion in, and now they will absolutely know. Shadow is going to back away from Nice Shards. More tracks coming out for Innocence to try to get as much vision as he possibly can. They have the Ravage. There is the Mech now up as well as World 11. Huh, that's why be better, there. This could be a better fight for Ehome than it has been, but the Epicenter, they'll find one the Chain Frost, oh. and it bounces again. The old chicken continues to do so. Up to the H, it will keep going for at least a little while. Shadow will find the double, and already this fight has gone disastrously for Ehome. It is time to back, but there is Faith Beyond again. Another Burrow Strike. Garner has to use his Snowball to save himself, but it looks like it's just making space for the other two to get out. Garner will fall. Shuriken. They actually can get Siler out of here. He was looking to go back in, but they've stayed too long. Jakiro Burrow struck, and now with Shadow's right click, this should be more than enough. They have a double damage on Blake. They have the plasma field. They have the damage. They've lost four. Siler will be the only remaining hero to survive here for E-Home, and another disastrous fight for that squad. Yeah, this game's just out of control. It looked so good with Hidehunter standing there all imposing, but he just got hit with an Epi Burrow and a Chain Frost, and he died instantly. Didn't have time to pop his mech, didn't have time to ravage. It's not one of those problems you normally encounter as Tidehunter. Usually you anticipate that kind of survivability, but he wasn't able to get a cloak up in time. He's too far behind, and the instant death means straightforward fight for wings. Roche, old chicken looking to contest it. It's not falling as quick as they would like it. The overwhelming odds, all of a sudden, Wings might be in trouble here. If they're He's not the careful, ravage. it's the Ravage that comes through. Now Faith Beyond coming back in. He gets the Aegis Snatch, the Burrow Strike out, wave from away. Yes, he will lose his life. He does the best that he can. He's bought out for the most part. Can he get out with this blink? It's on cooldown, it looks like. And the Ice Pack will secure his death. Eho, turn it around. The Ravage comes in. Wings could not take it quick enough. This game is not over yet, Purge. That was just perfect timing. What a great usage of Ravage as well. How are they going to take ages? Smoke coming out from Ehome. They're wrapping around. Wings do not have their entire team here. They're missing the Lich. They are missing the Razor. Shadow. Smoke breaky. Waveforms. The Thera Blades. Replicates out. Shadow. With a bounty support, those heroes are going to become worse and worse over time. He misses the Shadow link. Is not They're going to fight go. now. He has no damage. They're looking for a gush initiation. Waveform. Shadow's gone in. BKB. Burrow strike. Can they break Silo down? Absolutely. The Walrus Punch. Here's the Chain Frost bouncing it again. So far, not that much great damage. Ice Shards, rather the Snowball will go. The Macro Pyre is up. Shadow has to wait for more. His BKB now done. Epicenter is about to come in. Burrow to two. Can they bring this Husk Guard down? Do they have the damage? Ice Pest, Old Eleven, forced to use the Ravage. Good defensive one, but Old Eleven might very well fall. Old Chicken now looking for Shadow on the other side. Only a couple more left for Ehome to do some damage. And Old Chicken trying to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Shadow finds the double. And Old Eleven is going to stay in the trees a lot. But that might be it. Oh, the plasma field, it didn't get vision. It was so close. Good escape there. Three dead heroes, so the Legion Commander pick off at the start of the fight was amazing for Wings there, and that's all because they got in the side. Ehome still looking to go back in. They have that gem, or at least they should. Waveform's up, Shadow pops the BKB, the duel gets out, but now it might be a win coming out for the Morphling, and will be. Good Ravage, but there's the Chain Frost again. They use the Ethereum Blade up onto the Huskar as well. Faith Beyond comes in with another burst strike. They want the skill on him. They'll find it too dead. They buy back on Siler. Old Chicken still going to work. Link is now in. Statically, the plasma field triple kill. Epicenter comes down. They will find Old Chicken. It looks like no. Pops the Satanic. He's, so He's healing up. He's able to do some good damage. Now the adaptive strike. And he gets saved by the snowball for now. Faith Beyond forced away. Burrow strike. He gets They're one not off dying. before death. They won't go down. Old oh, Chicken. He will finally fall. It's the Ethereal Blade. And a rampage coming up. Can he get the double? He oh gets the double God. rampage. 
Shadow stays alive longer than everybody else. He outlasts all of the heroes of the game. Uh, Gush, Replicate, yeah, you know, Faith Beyond, he's like, well, maybe I could bait this. Burst Strike comes out onto two, he's gonna force himself away, Blink up in one, uses the Sandstorm to try to get out a little bit quicker. Half health coming out for Old Chicken. It's a little pop scary. The, did he pop the Satanic? Or is Siler, it just, uh, he wants to duel this. He has the Satanic, still so another great burrow onto two, that Aghanim such a range is absurd. Old Chicken, Adaptive Strike, he's looking for damage on Shadow, can't find it. More tracks coming out for Wings. This should be a kill. A lot of them, yeah, even with that pipe, I don't see you living, but he does give up a good Ice Path. Waveform forward in two. Old Lana might be able to just stay alive and get out, but he is low. Another burrow on two. The Chain Frost is going to bounce. Styler and Old Chicken in trouble. They will get up away from this static link. Old Chicken cannot survive long enough. He's dead with no buyback. The Chain Frost continuing to do work. Epicenter, good snowball save, avoiding a lot of that damage. But Garter still will fall when it's all said and done. Two dead and a That's huge it. pickup. And just like that, it's GG. Wings will move on to the grand finals. What an amazing series and what a game to close it out super close ehome did their absolute best to take it to wings there it looked like wings had the game in the bag but they made it real close that was something else like you mentioned amazing series all three games